So that's it. That's Dale's Cone of Experience. Now, if you're wondering, bakit siya nahahate? Actually, hinati lang siya to describe the degree of abstraction. Hindi ibig sabihin na nakahati siya is ihahatiin din siya ng teacher when he or she uses it inside the classroom. Pwedeng pwede po na i-combine lahat siya or pwede rin, like for example, i-combine si motion pictures at si text. I-combine si direct purpose po kay text. Pwede pwede po ganun. Hindi siya ibig sabihin na ay, um, direct purpose po siya, hindi siya pwede i- a partner kay abstract. So, depende po yan sa teacher and what kind of strategy he or she will be using inside the classroom. It's up to uh, the way he wants to present the topic or kung ano yung pinaka-effective na, top, na strategy na pwede gamitin to discuss at uh, that certain topic. So, usually if um, PE classes yan so marami talagang times net it's more on concrete experiences kasi pasasayawin kayo pagagawain kayo ng ganitong ganyan whereas kung English naman uh, it's more on mayroong dramatized experiences meron din mga text and uh, visuals Pag mathematics naman, it's more on demonstration. Di ba kayo, you're going to solve problems. Pag um, mga history naman, it's better yung field trips or manunood kayo motion pictures, videos, televisions. So, ganun siya. Ibang-ibang strategy na pwede gamitin ng teacher para mas maintindihan ng bata yung topic na i-discuss. Now, uh, let us um, relate this one to the three-tiered model of Brunner. Diba sa three-tiered model ni Brunner, meron siya tinatawag na inactive, iconic, at saka symbolic. So, kung titignan mo yung Dale's Cone of Experience, nakakahati din siya sa tatlong level na yun. Yung inactive, it's more on the sequences of action. So, yung nasa baba, it's more on action, right? Yung nasa gitna naman, is the sequence of pictures. Habang yung nasa uh, taas naman, it's more on abstraction. So, yun yung symbolic na part. 